Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and this is the week. Today's Monday, XRP Las Vegas starts Friday. Uh, wanted to show you one of the greater moments of last year. I'm here. Look, I've said to a bunch of you as I have bet that I'm here tonight, I'm here to thank you. And I appreciate that you're thanking me, but I'm here to thank you for all that you have done to support this effort. Truly, it does take an army. And this army has been incredible. And That was a classic moment. All right, last chance. Go get your tickets, xrplasvegas.com. Uh, now, I want to remind everybody, as, as everybody starts to travel, I was talking to somebody this morning that heads out tomorrow. And um, so as you get going, when you tweet videos and pictures of your travels or anything else that's going on, use the hashtag xrplasvegas2024. Try to make this uniform. That way we can uh, make sure that we see everything everybody's tweeting. Check out this. Now, uh, just to remind you, Jason Cousins, who's one of my sponsors, Glint, um, he's the CEO. He's going to be at XRP Las Vegas. He's going to be on stage with Lynette Zhang and with Andy Sheckman. You know, Andy Sheckman, my other sponsor. I get my physical gold. You just go to there on milesfranklin.com, sign up. Use code DAI Gold. And then uh, Jason Cousins is Glint. You go to glintpay.com uh, to uh, look at their account. And here's what they do watch this. How safe is your money? It's a question we should ask ourselves. Banks are currently sat on massive unrealized losses, and people are rightly worried about the money that they have in the bank. Unfortunately, the, the existing monetary system doesn't help you. That's unfair. We believe that everybody should have an equal opportunity to prosper. Given your hard-earned work, you should have a, a level playing field. We achieve this by enabling gold as everyday money with the Glint app and MasterCard. Now you can buy gold, um, you can save it, you can spend it, of course, now with the Glint card for the first time anywhere in the world where MasterCard's accepted. You can also send gold outside of the banking system, peer-to-peer, -peer, with anybody else who's got a Glint account. So download the Glint app today and get yourself on your own personal gold standard. Start using gold as money with the Glint MasterCard. And those guys, have they're partnering with Miles Franklin, so that's good stuff. Little reminder from Rob Cunningham, who is also going to be at XRP Las Vegas, about the Trojan horse hypocrisy. This is one of the better clips from Lynette Zhang, who is going to be on stage at XRP Las Vegas. So my personal belief, especially after reading the 1996 NSA, which is a government agency white paper on how to create a mint, is that Bitcoin was the Trojan horse. And it, I don't think it was a coincidence that it came out in January of 2009 and quantitative easing started in March because they need to have things look as normal as possible so that you don't know that anything has changed when in reality, everything has changed. Now, going back to the Bank for International Settlements money flower, there is a very small place for private cryptocurrencies that do not travel or under the purview of central banks. There is a much larger space for commodity money, so gold and silver. So there will be some private ones that survive. Okay, I was trying to decide if that was a siren where I live or on her video. But, but the visibility that Bitcoin has gotten in its first run up to 70,000 and in, inside the ETFs, 
people that buy gold and people that buy cryptocurrencies have the same kind of, con typically, unless they're trading, have the same kind of concerns and mentality. In other words, they're trying to do something that's outside of the system. Michelle, do you really think that Bitcoin is outside of the system now? Look, I have raised this as a personal point of concern that bringing Bitcoin ETFs does bring Bitcoin back into the traditional financial system, which it was supposed to be yeah, an alternative to. I personally have raised this as being contrary to the decentralized, independent ethos of All Bitcoin, by which, by. as you say, appeals to the same libertarian mentality that sees the debasement and devaluation of fiat currency. And it was never going to be down with the banks. That was a joke. That's why I'm into XRP. To find an alternative. So I do flag that as, as a big concern that, yes, it's good for the price and it's maybe good for adoption, but it's not so good if you're looking for Bitcoin to be an alternative to the system. And uh, let's see here. So this, this is important to, to look at. When the gold ETF was approved in 2004, there was an eight year bull run, yet it took gold ETF more than 800 days to reach what BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF in assets under management achieved in just over 70 days. What does this mean? Demand for Bitcoin is much greater than gold in 2004 with supply being much more scarce. This is just the beginning. I, I do agree, as long as they allow Bitcoin to live, I believe this thing will suck up a lot of money. I think that's the whole point. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be good and I think this will be good for the altcoins. In reality, I believe Bitcoin should be the altcoin to XRP's, XRP being the king. That's kind of how I feel like this story ends. And I love the fact that every, that all of the, the things anybody would point to, it's no, Bitcoin's this dominant thing. I love that. Therein lies the opportunity. That's why I bought more XRP today. Keep giving me the opportunity. So now Hong Kong has opened up, is about to open up their ETF. Uh, and here's what they're saying about now, that. I think that we are going to see something different in Hong Kong. And we have a thesis that we're gonna paint out for you here. One of course is the ability to use Bitcoin inside these funds. Imagine if you had a whole bunch of Bitcoin and you wanna go into an ETF. This is one of the features that we do not have currently in ETFs here in the United States. The other thing you talked about was this massive infrastructure that has been building. Remember, we're faced with regulation, pushback, constant hits from DC, all this you know FUD that's pushing these markets down. And yet at the same time, you have BlackRock and Fidelity flying, or at least until here recently. But in Hong Kong and in Asia, what we're finding is They've embraced crypto, they've embraced blockchain, meaning maybe they've actually laid the groundwork for a supremely successful launch of both a Bitcoin and an ETF uh, for Ethereum. So be on the lookout, guys. Uh, We're gonna still, see some- He still wants to pump Ethereum. All right, and then, uh, but, but anyway, the point there is expect some fireworks. I believe this pullback we've had here recently Ooh, I'm loving it because I'm accumulating. I accumulated more this morning XRP. Let me see here. I'm doing something here. I need to forgot to do. All right. Okay. Um, and then we've got this from Egrag Crypto. It's no secret XRP dominance has taken a hit. Da da da. He, he says the shakeout, but down here he says stay steady with 10% dominance of the five trillion dollar total market cap that Brad Garlinghouse is predicting. XRP price could potentially reach around nine to ten dollars. I like the sound of that, and that is why I. Uh, that's one of the many reasons I bought more XRP this morning. I love it. There's a uh, Joe Biden. He was surprised. Brad Garlinghouse was surprised. Hillary Clinton was surprised, and we don't even say her name on this channel. The guy from Friends was surprised. The guy from uh, what was the show called? My son was addicted to it. Uh, the office. Um, now, I, I'm trying to see if I got these things out of order. Let me see what I got here. Um, I think I got something out of order. Where is it? Did I miss it? I may have somehow deleted it. Let's see. Anyway, I want, 
uh, I wanted to draw to your attention this from Stuart Alderati. This is when he called for Hinman to be investigated. Yeah, I know where I moved it now. Okay, I moved it to, let's go, let's move this on over. I'll hit that in one second. In fact, what we'll do is we'll talk about that in the in the member group. We're going to talk about, <clears throat> uh, what I'll do is I'm going to go from here. We're going to talk about Charles Hoskinson, David Schwartz getting into him. We'll talk about this in the member group. I'm the digital asset investor. Uh, I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family that here we go. We'll